Welcome to Feature Friday. This is the series where we show you how to use some of the coolest features inside of Ecamm Live. Today, we're going to do something just a little bit different. We're going to talk about an application that we absolutely love over here at Ecamm, and this is used in order to get the best out of that wonderful phone that everyone has in their pocket. Everyone seems to have an iPhone, and the iPhone camera system is fantastic. As you know, you can just plug in an iPhone cable, and Ecamm will see See that but if you want to level it up to give you some of those extra features like you find in a regular say like point and shoot camera then you're going to want to use an application that we love and that application is camo can be found at reincubate.com. Of course, as always, there will be links in the description. Camo gives you access to full quality video. It works with many applications like Ecamm Live, Zoom, Teams, Skype, whatever. Mainly, the thing that I love is it allows you to tune your image. As a professional videographer, I like having that extra control. It's easy to use, it's simply plug and play, and it can do some incredible advanced features. What you're gonna to wanna to do is come here and download Camo for Mac OS, I've already done so. As soon as that's finished, you're also gonna to wanna to jump over to the App Store on your phone and pick up Camo Webcam for Mac and PC on your app iPhone. You will need the iPhone app in order for it to work because the two applications talk to each other. The application install process is as easy as pie. You're going to pick up the camo application icon and drop it into your Mac application folder. Once you do that, just launch the app. Once you launch the application, you're going to be presented with the camo dashboard. The camo dashboard looks a little bit like this. Now, the most important step is you're gonna to have to plug in your iPhone. I'm just using a stock iPhone cable. I am also using a Ulanzi camera mount and a small tabletop tripod. So I'm gonna launch my camo on the iPhone and then I am going to press this button. It says camo is not connected and then boom, camo is connected. See, you can see me right here in this camera. Woo! What I'm gonna do so I don't have to hold this all day is plop this over onto my tripod. Give me a wee second here. Boom. And now you are presented with two docs. One over here and one over here. Hi, mom. This is weird because I got to look at you over here now. What we're going to do right now is show you how to use some of this cool stuff inside a camo. As you see right here, I am selecting my phone. This is my iPhone. So that tells me that there. This tells me what mode I'm using. This tells me what lens I'm using. Right now, I'm using the front the front glass camera. Let's flip that around so that we can use the back camera. I'm gonna pick this up and swip it around. Give me just a split second. A few moments later. There we go, much better image because now I'm using the higher quality backside camera. The cool part about camo is you can see everything right here in the camo interface. So what I'm gonna do now is show you, I could go to my Telephoto lens, wow, that's scary. I can use my ultra wide lens, also scary. And then of course you see we started out on the selfie lens. So here I like to use the standard wide lens. Now, what I can do is adjust things on my focus. So for instance, I can use this slider to sort of add a little focus or rack focus if you will. This allows me to center focus as always. And I can specify if I wanna pull audio from camo back into Ecamm. I am currently not doing that because I have my microphone here. You also see we have some presets that you can do, which is give a little bit extra saturation. I can back down the saturation for that more filmic look, something I like to do. Also handy for those of you people who want that sort of face filter type effect. I would suggest doing saturation nerfing. You can go monochromatic, frankly, scallet man, right? You could come over here and do something like synth ways 80s. Wow, max headroom. Ha, ta, 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 ta. This is that's crazy. I like that. Trop, tropical Hawaii, really eating. <laughs> I'm teasing. I'm teasing. We got yo. This is bananas. I like this look right here. And then lemonade, that cool refreshing drink. So you have some features. Uh, you have some. 
You have some filters that you can use. I'm gonna put this back on saturation nerf. And then you can do things like mirror my video. If you have an application that's misbehaving, doesn't like your video, you can say you want logo on the bottom right. I can switch it over to shot on camera, camo, or because I'm pro, I could turn off no logo at all. I could also put my logo on there if I wanted to burn in the watermark. We'll come over and check out some features like exposure. I can come here and crank up the exposure, crank it down, do some stuff with the auto ISO. If you're having problems with that, I like to leave it be because the iPhone is rather genius. You can also tweak the old white balance situation right here. If you wanted to give yourself, say, a slightly cooler look or a slightly warmer look, you can do that. You can adjust the tint. You will find that certain lights might give you a weird tint. So you can adjust that there with your white balance. You can adjust the image brightness if you wanted to do something like that. A little bananas there. You can also adjust the hue. All right, that's way too much having fun. And you can do some micro adjustments there on the saturation, which because I am currently coming over to saturation nerf, it kind of sets some of those things for me. One that a lot of people will find very useful is things like contrast. Contrast can be helpful when you have to put a lot of graphics and things on screen and you want the attention not to be directly on your video. By using contrast, you can mute the image a little bit. It'll make people pay attention to the, say the text more, especially when mixed in with on-screen graphics. Gamma is similar to contrast, but it's a little bit different, um, but that sort of controls some of your black level and highlights levels. So for instance, I kind of like this 1.18 gamma a little bit better than completely off. So that's what I mean by giving a little control. The iPhone gamma is a little bit weird <laughs> from a video guy perspective. And you can do things like increase or decrease sharpness. So if I pull back the sharpness just a taste, I don't look as old. <laughs> you see what I mean? Very easy. I'm not making myself blurry, but I'm giving myself a slightly adjusted look by doing that. Now me, I'm old and ugly, don't care. I just leave it. But for those of you who want it, using something like camo allows you to make that adjustment. What's really cool up here is I can put these things away when I'm not using it. So I have a simplified interface that helps you people who feel a little bit overexcited by all the buttons. So once you have everything set up, you can turn that on and turn that off real simple. And you can specify where you're going to store any recordings if you do recordings inside Camel. Looking over here in the Ecamm interface, let me show you how easy it is to use Camel with Ecamm. We got everything all set up. We got Camo dialed in with the settings that we like. And all we need to do is look up in our camera switcher and you'll see I have the stock iPhone as it is, but that real deal Holyfield sexy look is over here inside my camo. I'm just selecting my camo from my camera hey. selection. If for some reason it's missing from your camera selector, remember all you have to do is go up to camera in the menu, come down to include and switcher and make sure there is a check mark right there next to reincubate camo. You want to have that turned on. And as you can see, I've turned off some cameras I'm not using right now, like my iPad. Once it's in there, I'm looking at my camera numbers in situation. This camera that I'm talking on is camera three. I can press the number four to switch over to the camo. So three, four. Hey gang, how y'all doing? <laughs> That's it. It's super simple and super easy. As you can see, Camo can help you level up your video productions. Anytime you just want an additional angle, hey mom, or you got some extra iPhones laying around like this iPhone 12 or my iPhone 13 Pro Max that I was talking on, you can just get them all dialed in with Camo and make your productions look that much better. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, drop them down in the comment section below. If you have a video you'd like to see us make, also leave us that information there. You can always reach out to us at marketing at ecamm.com. And if you need any assistance, you can reach us at support desk at ecamm.com. 
For the Camo team, thank you guys for making such a dope app. They're always around in the community. Their community manager person, sort of like me, Eden, she's always in our community. So if you bump into her, say hi, tell her how much you are enjoying Camo. Now, the algorithm is going to show you two more videos we think you should watch, or they think you should watch, and we absolutely agree with them. Go, 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 go